Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Kind of windy out here today. You can probably hear that in the background, so instead of talking to you out here, let's go inside. I'm going to assemble the generator, so let's go take a look. Okay, so anyway, here's the generator, and you see the repair that I did on the uh, the front panel there, um, the, the silver tape on each corner. Uh, there's a separate video on that if you're uh, interested in watching. But uh, owner's manual, all the hardware that came with it, and all that hardware was inside the big bag. Well, kind of. Um, there were several bags inside the big bag, but when I picked it up, all kind of stuff started falling out of it. I actually found hardware in the bottom of the shipping box. So, uh, yeah, check this out, too. That's a measuring cup that they give you as part of, uh, part of this generator kit. And, uh, <laughs> that thing ain't gonna be no good to nobody. I'm gonna take all those parts and pieces, which I've already verified them according to the owner's manual. We do have everything that I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the wheel kit, the handle, uh, the little stops that it sits on. I'm gonna assemble all of that. And when I get done, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the end result. Took about 10 minutes. Not very uh, difficult at all. Uh, but got the wheels on it and little, uh, I guess, bumpers, whatever you call that, where it sits uh, down on the ground. Got the handle kit on it. And to be quite honest, um, I'm not over th overly thrilled with the position of that handle because it's right there in front of your pull cord. Um, I can see that's going to be in the way, but that's, uh, that's where they want you to put it. So, anyway, that's the assembly. So I uh, wanted to kind of read some of the things that was in the owner's manual real quick. So uh, I thought some of these were quite interesting. Okay, so first page we have a table of contents, introduction, product specifications, save this manual for future reference. Uh, that's a good tip. Safety rules. Warnings indicate potentially hazard situation. Caution indicates potentially hazard situation. Toxic fumes, risk of electric shock, risk of fire, hot surface, risk of explosion, and a lifting hazard. So one of the first warnings is read and understand this manual in its entirety before operating the generator. Improper use of the generator could result in serious injury or death. The next warning. Some of these are pretty, uh, pretty silly if you ask me, but do not operate indoors or in a confined space that prevent dangerous carbon monoxide gas from dissipating. It can kill you within minutes. That's what it says. Can kill you in minutes. Anyway, okay, next warning. Engine exhaust contains chemicals that lead to cause cancer and birth defects. Hmm. Warning. To reduce the risk of serious injury, avoid attempting to lift generator alone. Man, I already blew that one out of the water. Safety rules. Second page. Warning. Never exceed generator's voltage, amperage, capacity. Okay, that, that one's pretty understandable. Warning, never start or stop engine with electrical devices plugged into the receptacles. Failure to do so could result in damage to the generator or connected electrical devices. Okay, I can agree with that one too. Warning, starter recoil and other moving parts can catch on clothing, jewelry, and hair. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm going to be operating my uh, generator in my Sunday best with my tie on and everything else. Anyway. Warning. Keep engine away from flammable objects and other hazardous materials. Okay. <laughs> Warning. Pull cord recoils rapidly and pulls arm toward engine faster than you can let go, which could result in injury. Let me read that one again. Warning, pull cord recoils rapidly and pulls arm toward engine faster than you can let go, which could result in injury. I'm not pretty sure about that. Um, I can let go pretty quick if I have to. Uh, warning, avoid contacting hot surfaces of this unit. You don't say. Warning, <laughs> page three of the warnings, by the way. 
This generator produces high voltage, which could result in burns or electrocution, cause injury, serious injury or death. Yep, I can agree with that one. Gen oh, okay, warning. Generator must be properly grounded to prevent electrocution. Properly grounded? Uh, always connect the nut and ground terminal on the frame to an appropriate ground source. Okay, gonna have to look into that one a little bit further. Warning, never modify this unit in any way or modify the governing speed. Hmm. I'm not sure if repairing that front panel is considered a modification or not. Warning, only use this unit as intended or serious injury or death could result. Yeah, because if you try to throw it at somebody, you could hurt yourself. Okay, warning, never operate this unit if there are any broken or missing parts and only use Pulsar replacement parts specifically designed for this unit. Now that's an interesting one, especially since we were told when we called about our damage earlier that there are no replacement parts available. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, three pages of warnings in, 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 this, uh, in this manual. Three pages. Now, there's other things as you go through here. I'm in the assembly section now. Caution. You must add oil before first operating this generator. Always check oil level before each operation. Do not use E15 or E85 fuel in this unit. So that's good to know. Good thing that I didn't already fill up all of my gas cans with E85 or E15. Caution, you must add oil before first operating this generator. Always check oil level. Okay, uh, we, we already got that caution once before. Here's another warning. This generator produces high voltage, which could result in burn or electrocution. That was in the beginning. So if anybody's reading this manual the way they're supposed to, they should already know that. And here's another warning. Uh, same one as before. Generator must be properly grounded to prevent electrocution. Oh, and they actually added something to this warning uh, that wasn't in the beginning of the book, which I find to be rather interesting. Generator must be properly grounded to prevent electrocution. When operating this portable generator, keep it out of rain and away from standing water. Now, why wasn't that in the beginning of the book? When building or when generator is connected to a building or structure, an additional ground wire must be installed between the threaded ground nut and the suitable earthen ground. See, now this is like a, a different warning from, from the one in the beginning. Here again, pull cord recoils rapidly and pulls arm toward engine faster than you can let go. And the explanation for that one in, in the manual here, to avoid recoil, pull starter cord slowly until resistance is felt, then, period. Then, period. Then what? To avoid recoil, Pull starter cord slowly until resistance is felt, comma, then. I ain't kidding you guys. You see that, right? To avoid recoil, pull starter cord slowly until resistance is felt, then. Then, uh, I don't know, call your mother? Caution, do not connect three phase loads to generator. Okay, because this generator doesn't support three phases. That makes sense. 12 volt, 8.3 amp output is for charging batteries only. Now see, that is something that really wasn't explained uh, anywhere else. Uh, this, this is one of the warnings. And this warning actually was not in the, in the front of the book either. It is, this generator is equipped with the following receptacles, two 120 volt AC 20 amp receptacles and a 12 volt DC 8.3 amp output. 
And then a little bit further down, you actually have the warning about the 12 volt 8.3 amp is for charging batteries only. Wow, that's, that's interesting. Caution, this product is heavy. At 99 pounds, you don't think. It requires several people to lift. Lift and lower with your legs by bending at your knees, not your back, to avoid injury. Good advice. Another warning. Check. Uh, never exceed generators, wattage, amperage, capacity. Yeah, okay. That would make sense. Um, oh, let's see. Under maintenance, another warning. Before inspecting or servicing this machine, make sure the engine is off and no parts are moving. Disconnect the spark plug wire and move it away from the spark plug. No, oh, okay, I can buy that. Caution, used oil should be disposed of at an appropriate disposal site. See your local oil retailer for more information. Yeah, we gotta look out for the environment. That's good advice. Caution, still under maintenance by the way. Um, fuel tank must be empty before replacing fuel filter. Run unit until tank is empty if needed or inspect filter prior to fill up. Okay. Caution. Consult, consult local hazardous waste management in your area for proper way to dispose of used fuel. Used fuel. If I use it, it's not really fuel anymore. Hmm. Okay. Well. Uh, and then you got troubleshooting, you got a diagram, and that's pretty much it. So, anyway, owner's manual. A lot of stuff in there that probably should not be in there, in my opinion. But uh, I guess common sense isn't really as common as some of us think it might be. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. A couple of those were, uh, were a little bit comical to me. So, uh, yeah, the one about uh, pull the cord until you feel resistance, and then, period. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that's all I got for today. Appreciate you guys watching. Take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.